Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. This morning I received another encouraging compliment about my videos. Thank you all so much for all your support, subscribing to help me grow my channel. I'm so glad my videos are helpful to so many of you and please feel free to suggest anything you would like me to cover. Okay, let's get on with today's video. Today's video is all about connecting the Galaxy Buds Live with this TP-Link USB adapter on Windows desktop for video conferencing calls. I've been using the Galaxy Buds Live for about two weeks now, and I have made two videos about these earbuds before this one. They are all about connecting the Buds Live to my Samsung phone, tablet, and Galaxy Watch Active 2. In these two weeks, I've been using this Galaxy Buds Live for Zoom video conferences on my tablet and phone. I can hear everyone in the Zoom meeting pretty well, and they can hear me very clearly too. These earbuds work exceptionally well. They can even hear my subtle giggle and those mm, uh -huh, sounds I make in my conversation. With all the social distancing, I video conference most of the time at work now, so I recently had an idea. I wonder if I could use this Galaxy Buds Live with my office desktop computer by connecting it via a USB Bluetooth adapter. I'll then be able to walk around the office freely rather than being tethered to my desk while on a video conference call. After hunting for a good USB Bluetooth adapter, I settled on this TP-Link branded Bluetooth dongle because it has quite a lot of good reviews. I didn't go for the unbranded cheap USB Bluetooth dongle because I thought this will be much more reliable. This TP-Link USB UB400 adapter has Windows plug and play features. There is no driver installation required. All I do is plug it into my Windows 10 desktop and the Bluetooth icon pops up on the Windows taskbar. I can then straight away click the Add a Bluetooth device and start the pairing process. This is the native Windows Bluetooth settings configuration window. It seems like Windows has natively detected the TP-Link USB Bluetooth adapter. The pairing process took quite a while before the Galaxy Buds Live is detected. And after I select to connect, it took a while for it to establish the connection. This is what I see after the connection is established. Connected over voice and music. Opening and closing the earbuds automatically connect and disconnect the TP-Link USB dongle. This is kind of expected as all Bluetooth headsets should do this automatically. Have a look. The Galaxy Buds are automatically detected in Zoom. There are two channels in the speaker selection. Because this Galaxy Buds Live has both the audio music and headset Bluetooth channels, the headset microphone is also detected. Everything works. So far, so good. Well, it starts to go downhill from here. When the Zoom conference started, the audio started to degrade and connection starts to drop out and I got this dialog box telling me that Zoom cannot detect my microphone and speaker. So I went into the Zoom audio settings, tested the mic, adjusted the volume and changed these settings, the automatically adjust volume setting. None of this makes the audio connection any better. Let's listen to a test audio that I've recorded to share with all of you. Hello, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Oh, 
wow, that is really bad audio quality. I wonder if it's Zoom that is causing the problem. So I tried using Google Meet, which is used to be called Google Hangouts. Have a listen to the audio over Google Meet. This is a test for using the Bluetooth dongle over Hangouts. This is a test for Hangouts using the Bluetooth dongle. Now, it's better over Google Meet, but the digital distortion is still there. It appears like there are lots of wireless packet being lost in the Bluetooth connection. Not wanting to give up too easily, I attempt to modify a few other things. I tried positioning the USB adapter closer to me and have a 20cm radius free of electrical component to avoid interference. I tried different Windows desktop computers, both at home and at work but none of all this helps. I wonder why it worked so well on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 phone and Tab S6 tablet, but not the generic TP-Link Bluetooth USB adapter. After some investigation, I think this is my conclusion. The Bluetooth version are different. The TP-Link USB dongle is only Bluetooth 4.0, I think the Galaxy Buds Live is Bluetooth 5.0. Samsung wearables app most likely have software optimization as well. For example, Samsung says they use the accelerometer of these earbuds to detect vibration from your jawbone and uses the bone conduction to turn it into audio signal. This may need the Samsung wearables software on the phone in order to work and does not work over generic Bluetooth adapters. I'm not sure if this is the case. Let me know down in the comments if you know more about this. The other thing I found out is after I paired it with this TP-Link USB dongle, I realized my Galaxy Buds Live are no longer paired to my Galaxy Tab S6. It appears that the Galaxy Buds can only pair to three devices. After trying out this TP-Link USB dongle, now the seamless connection across my Samsung devices, as I've shown in my previous two videos, is no longer seamless. I'm going to factory reset my Galaxy Buds Live. But wait, how do I do that? Hmm. Oh, there we go using the Galaxy wearable apps. Anyway, it's been great fun making these 3 Galaxy Buds Live connectivity videos over the last 3 weeks. Links to the other 2 videos are in the descriptions down below. I hope they are useful to you. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this. I make tech gear videos on areas that usually are not covered by other YouTube videos. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.